Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today we're gonna to show you two quick things. The first is how to change icons on your Mac for any app that you have installed. You can do it for free, it's manual, but it's built into macOS and you can do it today with any image file that you have. Then I'm gonna show you an app that makes this a little easier. It's $5, um, not sponsored or anything, but just an app that I found today that I think is really cool. Uh, shout out to Mike Rockwell from initialcharge.net where I found him linking to this and discovered it. Anyway, you can check that out. It's all in the description, but let's show you how to do it first, uh, kind of the manual way. Uh, so I've got Obsidian here, which is an app that is great, does a lot of great things, just isn't quite, uh, doesn't have the best icon in no small part because it doesn't use the new Mac OS style, so it kind of sticks out in your dock a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is change this. So what I wanna do is just find an image of the new icon. So this is what I got. Um, I'm gonna select all in preview, and then I'm gonna copy it. So I'm just copying it to the clipboard, I'm gonna get out of there, and then I go back to the Applications folder. I'm gonna find the app that I want. I'm gonna hit Command-I to go to the Info panel for it. You can see all this stuff. And then I'm going to click on the icon up here. You can see it gets highlighted. And then if I paste the image, it's gonna paste in there and you can see it's been changed and it's changed here in the applications folder. If I open the app, it would show that way in the dock. That's great. So you can do this, this with any app on your Mac that works really easily. There are some downsides. Uh, number one is you have to make sure that the image is formatted perfectly to fit in with the other icons uh, on your computer. Um, so that's one thing. And then the second thing is updates. So if you have an update, I'm gonna do a manual update here, uh, but this would also happen a lot of times if you use just the auto update feature in the app. Uh, when I install this uh, new version of the app, it's going to overwrite the one I had in the applications folder. And yeah, uh, now I'm back to the old icon. So I'd have to do that whole process again. So that's a little annoying. But we do have an app down here called Replicaicon. Repli Replic <laughs> I don't really know how to say it out loud. Um, but if we go into here, this is so much easier. And so basically what this does is it goes through every app in your applications folder and gives you options for alternate icons. Uh, so you can see for some of these, there's tons of them. Like this list goes way down here. Like what's the app that goes all the way down here? Uh, looks like Firefox has a ton. Uh, yeah, Firefox might be the one that has the most, but like look at all these alternate icons you can do for Firefox. And Firefox is a good one to do because it also doesn't follow Mac OS's uh, standards for doing these icons. So let's do like this one. There you go. It just refreshes my dock and there's the new icon for Firefox. Maybe I want this one instead. I can do that. But let's fix Obsidian. Um, so let me scroll up and let me just actually search for Obsidian, right? And so this time I'm actually just gonna use one of these icons that are here and I'll keep the folder back here so you can kind of see what's going on. If I just click on this one, there you go. It's been changed. Uh, and it, again, it would show up in the dock. I'm not gonna open it because I have like my private notes there <laughs> that I don't wanna show, um, but you can see it changing over here in real time. I could do the dark version. There we go. Um, I'll just stick with this one because this is the one that I want. So it's much easier to do um, than finding the image, copying it and pasting it into the info panel. And again, you can kind of just go through all your apps at once and just do them all at the same time. You can change them all right here. Now, one of the cool things I'm gonna get out of the app uh, is remember that thing I said about updates. So the update would break the, uh, the new icon that you put previously. Here's what happens when you do it with this app installed. So I'm gonna drag a new version of Obsidian into the applications folder. I'm gonna replace it. And you're gonna see the old icon there for a second, but hands are up, I'm not touching anything. It changes it. So it finds the new, uh, it finds my custom icon that I was using and changes it automatically. So I don't have to change it back whenever there's an update to the app. So that is pretty cool in my book. So it is $5, it might not be worth it to you, but it's a really nice little utility app. It's one of those little hidden gems, I think, that macOS does so well. Uh, so I'll leave a link to the app. I'll leave a link to Mike Rockwell's post where he uh, talked about it originally, and I got the idea for this video. And I'll leave a link to a website you can use to find a bunch of alternate icons for apps. If you do want to go the free route and just kind of copy and paste them into the uh, applications manually. So uh, yeah, that's how it works. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.